decided to tackle the global warming issue for very, very practical reasons. I know that everybody's seen these pictures of the air apocalypse of children wearing pollution masks. I myself have air filters in every single room for the last decade, running all the time. <laughs> well, in 2007, it decided to issue a national climate change policy and then followed with many, many plans, followed with trillions of dollars for experimenting with every single solution that they can get their hands on, from transit-centered living for low-carbon transit to smart grid to energy-efficient lighting to new ways of growing food sustainably. China has a very, very long-term vision of wanting its citizens to have a good life, to have a life on an earth that is safe for humans. Think about China as a multinational corporation. It has these five-year plans that the whole nation has to follow. We have metrics that we're all measured by, whether it's the government, whether it's companies, uh, or you know, local government officials, the citizens, we, we all are striving together to move from survivability to a livable life, livability to individual wellness, thrivability. And the only way to do that is one, put your money where your mouth is, right? So they have deployed green bonds. They are very serious about green finance. They are about to launch in 2020 the nationwide carbon emissions trading scheme. They're talking about carbon taxes. I mean, I can keep going, a renewable energy quote, quota. And then they think like systematic holistic thinkers. They're engineers who say, how can I solve this problem? How can we do it together? This is an ecosystem that we're living in, so we need to approach it as a system with solutions. The Chinese way of thinking is very much like a karmic way of thinking and you know, a way that all of us have to, to respect the impact on each other, not just human to human, but human to nature, human to the soil, human to the air. You know, we all depend on each other. We, we all have to be aware of our interdependency. And when you're aware of that, you realize we all have to work towards the common good. And the common good means good food, quality and quantity of food. It means education, it means healthcare. Uh, it means housing, it means dignity for everybody. And really that's the value system that I see from the Chinese government, not just in Xi Jinping, but the last few. It's all about everybody, no matter how poor you are, if you in, live in the East, if you live in the West, how, how old you are, how you, young you are, it's all about dignity for all its citizens. <laughs>